Hello and welcome to fit to box channel. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to jab that notifications bell for all my latest uploads. Today I've got a fight glove from Everlast and these are the Everlast Elite Pro Fight Gloves. Okay, now the main Everlast fight gloves that are used are the Everlast MX, which is like a, a, a Mexican uh, hard punchers glove, very much like what Clayton Reyes used to do. So that's the Everlast MX. They also do the Everlast Power Lock as a fight glove, and then they do these, the Everlast Elite Pro fight boxing gloves as well. So this is a top end Everlast glove. And the top end gear that Everlast do, I think is really good. I know they do some low end stuff that is quite poor. Uh, and a lot of people give them the Everlast the name of Neverlast. Uh, but I don't actually agree with that when it comes to gloves like this, which is the top end. Uh, some people do either love or hate Everlast. They're either an Everlast fan uh, and won't buy anything else other than Everlast. Or they're in the Neverlast camp where they wouldn't ever consider buying anything from Everlast. Um, I think that the top end gear is right up there with the other brands so I don't think that there's a problem when it comes to the top end. Even some of the lower end stuff like the Everlast Protex 2 with the grey cuff for many years now I have always said that that's a good glove and that is sub 45 English pounds. Okay so when it comes to style I think one thing that Everlast certainly do very well is they are great when it comes to style they know how to make gear look good with the different badges that they put and the little sort of design touches like that greatness within across the grip bar there when it comes to this as it is it is a fight glove so it's not going to last forever fight gloves normally last for around 30 rounds the knuckle there is a high quality blended foam with a quil quilted horse hair. Okay, but that is quite a, a flat, hard surface. Um, but it is good, it will protect the hand. As I come round, I'll just take that off, come round to the thumb. You can see that leather attachment and that, that thumb, how it sort of curls round. And then on the front of the thumb, there's like large air holes there as well. The thumb is a little short for my thumbs, and I do find that right at the end, it's a little hard. But obviously, if, you, if you've got shorter thumbs, then that wouldn't affect you. When it comes to the face of the glove, you've got some thin padding there, which goes all the way up. You've got some thin padding the other side there as well. You've got a nice grip bar, and the laces are, are the perfect length for these gloves. You've got a little bit of an uh, embossed Elite there on the cuff and again you've got perforated holes on the face of the glove as well for ventilation when it comes to the inside of the glove very comfortable in there you can see that made in mexico label and that's a soft like a satiny lining and it is really nice and these are a real puncher's glove uh, everlast call it the second skin fit um, but they are very comfortable once you've got them on. You can open the hand fine and also make a good solid fist there. When it comes to that back bit, you've got soft bit right at the rear. And then this bit here is harder than that bit there. And that means when you flex your hand, the flexion is not happening there. It's happening here. Okay. So it does keep that rear of the hand very solid and secure. You can get these in 8 ounce, 10 ounce and 10 ounce XL. A lot of fight gloves now do come in that 10 ounce XL. Uh, these are the 10 ounce version. And they're made of premium leather and they come in black and white which I think is really nice but they also come in a very nice red and white and a blue and white and again all three of those colorways are very stylish when it comes to the stitching I'll just go have a look at the stitching you can see from the beading there it's not super tight but it is good standard of stitching this glove will last 
for those 30 rounds and after the 30 rounds when you can't use them for fights you certainly could use these for pads and mitt work so there they are cost of them 179 english pounds 179.99 if you go to geezer's boxing uh, everlast.com 149.99 us dollars and as i pointed out they are made in mexico at the back there they've got that sign there i'm not even going to read that out because i do get a bit of abuse when i uh, when i read that out in black country accent uh, but that just confirms that this glove is made in mexico so these are everlast's next generation take on the traditional mexican fight gloves and i think they've done a really good job with them i do like them um, they're very comfortable gloves to wear um, and also you know well made in mexico uh, but a definite puncher's glove these are so if you're looking for you know a hard fight glove then these will fit the bill for you hope you enjoyed that please like and subscribe to fit to box channel and i shall speak to you soon